All right, guys, we're back at Rockaway again, doing another crabbing, catch and cook video. But I wanted to do something a little bit different today and forage for mussels, uh, inspired by the outdoor chef life. But today, instead of catching and eating them, we're going to be catching them and making them into bait. The rockfish season is coming up, and rockfish, especially cabazon, love shellfish and other crustaceans. I'm going to show you a way to preserve these mussels for rockfish season in a couple months while also not having to refrigerate them and it's free and sustainable. So let's get to it. So for bait, I'm, I'm catching rockfish mostly with these. Uh, if you're going for perch, you can also find smaller sizes because perch and striped bass love mussels as well. Pretty much everything eats these things. I'm trying to find mussels about that size or bigger. My hands are pretty small, but... So I'm just trying to look for size pretty much. So I'm just gonna go free up some space for some of these other guys okay guys I stumbled across something that's pretty cool this is a sea anemone look at that one it's like a fluorescent yellow green it looks like it's emitting light almost Crazy. Look at that. You can see it underwater. Wow. So we had those crazy colored ones over there. Now we got wide neck and skinny neck over here. We got that purple. Look at that craziness, man. Okay guys, we've stumbled across some sort of crab religious sacrificial shrine or something like that. This has to be over a thousand years old. I don't know what kind of animal or creature created this thing. They cut the heads off of their victims and use them like trophies. This cage is just too heavy. Oh.
Me too, guys. I think we just got our limit. Oh, man. An hour and a half soak? Limit? Oh, my gosh. Chiropractor. Current chiropractor. Woo! Yeah. Good day today. So maybe. All right, guys, that's it for today. 10 males. And that's a limit.